All right, coming to y'all with another video of the lab. Um, just got this Cisco 5550 in the other day. Actually, I think I already recorded this, maybe. Um, but it has this uh, SSM 4GE card, so it has four um, Ethernet ports and then, or four um, gigabit Ethernet ports, or copper Ethernet ports, and then four SFP ports. Uh, I don't believe they could work all at the same time. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, you can't have them working at the same time, so it's either one or the other. Um, and then, of course, it has the regular ports here, but this is an add-on card. Um, this one's probably the loudest one out of the two. And then I have this Nexus, uh, Cisco Nexus uh, 30, um, 3048 TP. Um, so it has four 48 one gigabit ports and four 10 gigabit ports here which I have wired up just testing these SFPs making sure everything works I just got these in the mail today they had a problem with the order so they sent me the wrong thing but these are SFP pluses and this is right here uh, this one is just a regular SFP uh, for gigabit con connectivity these do 10 gig so this is a 10 gig in the um, one gig slot or in this slot. I want to test it out, but I have to actually activate the port for it to come on, so I'm going to do that later. Um, got some short OM3 cables here. Um, these are rated for 10 gigabit connectivity. Uh, they're short. They're, what's it called? Um, uh, Multi-mode. So they have a short distance or short, uh, the light like, gets, gets shot a little bit shorter. I, I forget about that, but I think it should go for multi mode. It should go to about 300 meters or oh, 100 meters. No, I think it's 500 meters. Actually, let's look it up. <laughs> Give me a sec. I just want to. This is going to bother me. Fiber. distance 550 meters and that depends on a couple things like how so the size of the core itself um, going through this how the lights gonna bounce on it or bounce within it um, and then my laptop running Ubuntu so I'm plugged into the console port of the Nexus these are all the ports that are up um, as you can see everything else everything is known as ethernet um that's the new naming convention for the nexus as i've learned um so even if it's like a one gigabit ethernet it's all ethernet no matter what um so i could focus there and then you got 10 ge or 10 gig on those last ports there which is great i have a server that has a nick card that does 25 gig um but i don't have the sfp 28s uh which is a step up from the sfp pluses or plus models so um i'll be configuring these here in the coming weeks uh just getting everything going and um hopefully i can make videos out of that and show it to you guys and i'll put all that together i got a couple other things that are on the rack i got a uh, terminal server uh by cyclades old old terminal server you can find them on uh ebay for like a hundred bucks i believe um let me look that up actually right now Side plates. Oh yeah, uh, more than I thought. So if you look at these uh, cyclade boxes, uh, you're looking at about two hundred dollars for one, but it's forty-eight ports and it has Ethernet connectivity. These are great if you have if you want out-of-band connectivity to your um, devices, uh, especially. So for instance, this one is really nice, or it's pretty simple, uh, but it runs Linux, and you can log in either via console, console port here, or the network port. Um, once you have it configured and on the, uh, oh, I guess they're made by Avocent, Avocent now, so that's cool. Um, I think I'd seen that at one point, but they're the ones that took over the brand, I guess. 
Uh, but anyways, these um, these boxes are really nice, and I found them a couple of years back when I wanted to connect a couple of different Cisco devices, and uh, mine should still work. But what's really cool about it is that um, you can have 48, you can hook up 48 different boxes, and then for instance, if you wanted an out of band connection, like I was mentioning before, you can have something as simple as a Raspberry Pi, and on that Raspberry Pi, you have it connected to it to this. And then this will connect to all the different Cisco devices that you might have in your rack. So you don't have to have that uh, Cisco, I think, 2600 router that has all the terminal cables that are connected to it. Um, I think this is a little bit better. It works a lot um, better. And then you can do other things with it uh, as well. So I like this. Um, but all that I'll go over, connect. I'll be going over the APC AP. 2910 I believe or 9210 um, I'll be going over that device and connecting it and getting it configured so we can actually um, control these devices the power on and off for all these devices over the network also I want to show you how loud this 5510 is 90% of that noise is from the 5510 so I won't be having that on all the time I may or may not put it in my garage and use it as my main router um, but this Nexus is uh, running very quiet, which is great, and that, which means I can actually keep it on all the time. I'm not too worried about power consumption. Um, this I got off of eBay for about 240 bucks. Um, these uh, SFP, the SFP Plus ports, the 10 gig SFPs, I got those for about another um, 23 bucks or so. Um, they shipped me the wrong one, but they went ahead and got me the right ones, which is great. Um, this device here, I got this for 240 for the Nexus, which is great because I just did a, um, I submitted an offer, they accepted it, and I was able to get everything. I was even able to get these uh, rack ears, two power supplies, um, and of course the fan unit. Some of them don't come with it. Normally, this um, the person had it listed at 275, so I caught them on a good day, I guess, or what have you. Um, so I was able to get that. So that's awesome. Um, so I'll have a Nexus device in the lab. I want to get some more advanced devices as well. I do want to still get the 5596UP for uh, a Nexus 5596UP. Um, don't have to, but I want to start doing things with the um, Fabric extenders. Excuse the beep in the background. Um, it's just one of the panels here at the night job. Uh, so uh, a couple other things that are be coming in, but this is a really nice device. I really do like it. And if you see here, what's cool is with the airflow. Airflow is, I believe, front. Yeah, it should be front to back. But the way they achieve that is by uh, beveling the edge here. So it's at a little bit of a slant. So air it can actually can be uh, forced through this small little crack here. And of course, when you have a multiple uh, multiple units stacked up on one another, um, works very well. Um, can't really think of much of uh, much else uh, probably gonna actually get some video editing software so I can combine a couple videos I probably want to start doing live coding on some of my projects that I've uh, worked on in the past uh, just to see like show you guys how long it takes me to figure out certain things um, who knows I may chop those up actually because it sometimes it takes me hours to figure something out um, and honestly it's just I don't know. I, I see a lot of people code, but I, I just don't see... I see finished products. So I always wonder, like, you know, like, do they go through the same thing? And I'm sure a couple people on YouTube do it. I just don't search hard enough for those videos because I'd probably be bored. Um, but so, yeah, that's pretty much it right now. I'll be configuring this uh, at some point here in the future and getting that going. Um, I finished it, that big proposal, put that out there. I uh, haven't heard much back from that. Uh, we were in contact up to last week, so I'm not sure if I didn't get the job or not. But, um, you know, hopefully I'm still in the running with it. Uh, I had a couple of things to deal with, with in, in terms of insurance. And I'll explain a little bit more about that um, as I go over that proposal itself. But, um, hey, this is an update on what's going on in the uh, actual, uh, what's it called, my uh, testing and training rack. As always, thanks for watching.